I want to make sure to do this though before we get out of here this week. This is the uh, newest uh, Star Wars series, Acolyte. Uh, I'm going to be out on Disney Plus. I'm not exactly sure when. It'll probably tell us in the trailer. Um, but this is a new trailer that dropped. I wanted to share it with you guys, get your guys' opinion, and also share our opinion, obviously, with uh, how we feel about nice. it. So let's get into it. Make sure we're at the beginning. All right, there you go. Yeah. Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. Life. Balance. Mm -hmm. I see fire. No. Someone is killing Jedi. Can we pause real quick? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I, was, I was gonna say, since when we're using knives. Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, <laughs> what is I, this? I think it might be some undercover Jedi shit, but um, there's a lightsaber. By the way, in case you weren't able to tell, that is the uh, oh, what's her name? I don't remember her name right now, but it'll come to me. The lady who played Trinity in The Matrix. Oh, she she's that's the lady that turned around slowly so they can unveil that. So hopefully that gives this show some credibility. So far, uh, we'll see. It doesn't make sense. What happened? I sensed darkness. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power and who is allowed to use it. What is that? Us. Make sure you unsubscribe as soon as possible. Yeah, Close your eyes. Uh, is is, is this a there. book or is this just like they just created uh, this? Is John Favreau I, part of this? Not that I. So as far as like it being a book, not that I'm aware of. There's what a lot of take books. Place? There's a lot of books that this could be based off of because Disney, when we were growing up and before Disney bought them, they had this thing called the expanded universe. Um, so you can read books about like Luke Skywalker shit going on and all that. Um, but when Disney bought them, they, they immediately said, okay, none of that is going to be canon. So none of that's going to uh, be like true to the story. It's going to be a part of this called Star Wars Legends. I to get too deep into the bullshit. Um, so here, let me share the screen with you guys so you guys can see some of the details that we're going to start looking at when we're looking at the series real quick. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, I'm going to be honest. One of the things that definitely stands out in this trailer um, is, dude, is are fucking white people, white men, going to be able to get roles in fucking movies anymore? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be honest. Brother, you're seeing the transformation into a conservative right before your eyes. Because I will uh, say, I'm telling you, by the end of the day, <laughs> it's like I'm by myself over here. When I watch this, what I'm not going to lie. DVD, they got me a little bit with the fucking uh, oh. the DEI standards. What the fuck is going on? Uh, <laughs> is yeah, fifty percent of the roles deal are with the it. poor. Congrats, are, are, are the white poor, men. Do are there fifty percent of the roles though? Hold on, time out. What the fuck are you talking about right now, brother? Fifty percent. Look, there's there's two right there. All right, this guy right here and this guy. <laughs> yeah, white and white would you say that's 50 percent? and i'm not saying that they need to get 50 percent, but I'm, i don't even know who these people uh, were uh, what, what is it it was like 50 percent i didn't see these motherfuckers it's like 50 percent have to be a minority group no, well, and then 50 the percent yeah. don't have to be that's with their or, hiring practices generally and it did include films, it, that, it films but i mean i don't know that that means that they don't also does that like include like extras and shit I like that no idea. as far as these that's main actors question. this isn't 50 percent if you're well, it, unless you're conflating like what whites does it have to women. be a white story oh it doesn't have to be a white story but yeah, every other star wars 
We don't. Though. Nope. I think that, but I haven't seen that new one. Yeah. Have you seen Ahsoka? Listen, that's man. all women too. What the fuck are we talking about? My wife needs to watch them so I can watch them. Ahsoka, I actually like too. That's what I'm saying. I'm not somebody I'm that's like against. I'm not necessarily against this if it's done no, well. I, no, Ahsoka yeah, okay. was Trump. actually dope. Ahsoka was sick. But this, know, you're wrong for him. This acolyte <laughs> shit. I'm not gonna lie. It's distracting because it is like, hold on. Jeez. It's just, it's just it's like, come on, bro. Look at the, Don't look teach look my kids look here, at the dude. fucking <laughs> cast, bro. <laughs> Like a, there's literally until we get to the end here, which like I said, I don't know who these guys were. I didn't see them in the trailer, but it well, was there's a lot dark. of white women. <laughs> bro, one, two, I'm not three. That what the fuck? That's talking help. about. Bro, that help. At least you are Asian. I mean, I mean, where where do we categorize them? Where the Ooh. fuck do you categorize them? I'm saying, listen, when we look at it overall, like no, I like I said, you so. have women. This is just an extreme thing. When it gets to the point to where the storytelling is being distract, you're being distracted but, from the storytelling but, by like some kind of like. It is a ridiculous level of. But, I mean, if you want to call it representation, it's what fine. are we supposed but, to? Hold on, but, but what do we want? So, so does yeah. it have to be X amount of white people to make people feel comfortable, or where the fuck could they the at? Yeah. like like is it the the actors that they chose? And it was like, oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Well, okay, so now representation doesn't matter from the other perspective. Oh, come well, I'm on. Asking. It, it, you're, you're looking at. Well, I'm asking you. Doesn't it, don't, a, don't are, just, are, are are we are we lacking representation in the white community here? Well, if it's not something that you address, is it not possible that I mean, in this case, I would say that we are lacking, at least from uh, white and male okay, in one show. Well, I mean, and then, like I said, Ahsoka, I, I, the thing is, it just hasn't been an issue for me because this typically wouldn't be oh. an issue. But if it's going to be like so consistent, I think it has been consistent. Like I said, Ahsoka, let's pull up okay. their gas. Let's pull up their gas. Okay. So you had the original Star Wars is all white besides the. Okay. The are we, are we who, making up for that or are we making, or are we making movies? And then in the and then in the the ones in the two thousands, all white besides yeah. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. And <laughs> so, like I said, are you making up for that, or like what are you doing? Um, I don't know. Okay. Uh, again, I'm well, not, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm just saying I mean, that's what you're doing. That's what I'm you're just doing. saying how there's already white white storylines. What does it well, matter? I mean, uh, like, like what does it? Why do we have to pick apart everything that's not white? Yeah, I will say here they're showing a lot of whites, um, it, but uh, uh, just to keep it a thousand. I mean, it, like, and I knew it, there was a lot of it whites. Just in feels it feels as if like go but, ahead. Yeah, well, no, I was gonna say I knew there was a lot of whites. This, but it was, this this cast specifically was like he heavy on like females for main characters, which yeah. once again is fine. I think in this this is actually a case, one of the few cases I think they've actually done this really well. Which actually the, the Rotten Tomatoes spells that out. Like to, um, here, but to, to yeah, be honest, it's not just with races, even with gender, right? So yeah. like. We've always had superhero movies where the fucking super to superhero leads who are all male have their lineup moment and have their moment, right? Oh, your lineup right. moment where, where they line up and the camera pans and then they go in charge. Oso 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 okay, Ahsoka Sorry. was good though. I'm talking to the just fucking, oh. uh, the comments. Uh, no, looks derivative. Uh, probably a dumb story that doesn't make any same sense. <laughs> Uh, and, and by the way, just from what we just saw, it seems like somebody's hunting down the Jedi's probably after Order 66, I'm assuming. Agreed, people are kind of sick of the girl boss, and I like girl bosses. This will flop. Um, and the guys are probably weak. Yeah, they probably make the guys total pussies so they can make the women look stronger than them. Well, like, like, like when, when, <laughs> Ahsoka when, bombed. when Marvel did their whole. Oh, right. Uh, that was a question. My bad. I didn't realize it was a question. In, in Infinity War, whatever. What, what was yeah when, when when they did like like the women of marvel like lined up in the big battle right yeah it that got eye rolls and it's like okay so just because you look at it and you go oh this i'm not used to this so there must be making a stance yeah. and they're yes they're making a stance but it's the same fucking thing that you have seen in every yeah. other movie but you don't notice it because it's what you're used to well, and also so just like this every time we see a, it's a not roll, done but it's not done for the same reason it's not done so the thing that makes you roll your eyes is that you're like oh my god this was done to have this moment with women where it, when it's time for like Superman and Batman or whatever, all the people are going to stand around each other, whatever the fuck kind of scenario you're talking about. It's like that has nothing to do with them being men. It just has to do with like all these characters. So, so, things. so their characters have nothing to do with being strong, powerful men. I'm not saying that. But but I'm saying does, like though. no, but I'm saying I'm not. But that's not what no, I'm saying. Okay, I'm saying that the the comparison that you just made that makes people like cringe is like when the Ghostbusters were all put together, they weren't put together. I'm assuming, anyways. I guess 
maybe you'll have some kind of issue with this, but I imagine they weren't put together as, hey, these got these need to be men fighting ghosts. But no. then later on, when you have a movie made with what seems to be that was the stupid. main point being, yeah. let's have a bunch of ladies like, fighting ghosts because ladies can fight it too. Yeah, that, and that was even, a reach. Even that in was. that case, you're going to have Chris Hemsworth then play into this kind of like thing that you're trying to do the statement you're trying to make so now it comes it, it, it separates yourself from let's make the most funny possible movie possible is now you're like we want to make some kind of like weird statement about now chris chris hemsworth is a fucking idiot um yeah I, <laughs> that's I, at the behest yeah, of all I, these ladies that, i didn't yeah that, like I said, that was dumb I, I, I didn't like that remake i'm just. good with these if they're done in like good faith i think that um i'm trying to think like for wonder woman being a character that's been woman forever and all that i think that was done well the first time they did it um i enjoyed it um it's a female character so i don't have a problem with these characters being put at the forefront it's just when it's cringe is when it's like that is the purpose for you doing that if you recast batman and superman and make them women that's going to be cringe it's kind of what you did with ghostbusters that doesn't yeah, have to yeah be, the ghostbuster one was like this it doesn't have to be an all lady team to make up for the fact that yeah there was an all man team before too those characters were already written that way in the source material. Yeah, but but you can write just like there's all the cowboy, all the all the macho man, tough guy, yeah. die hard shit. You can write movies the same way for women, and it doesn't have to be met with so much combat. But why don't you? And write again, it's just like with minorities. Why does every mo- this is every movie that comes out that isn't white led? You go, oh well, how how many how many minorities are you going to put in the film? And it's like, oh fucking well. Okay, so why does everything have to that. have a white lead? Well, I don't agree with that because I mean it's not that it has to have a white lead. It's that there has to it this like this is a pander fest. Can't, this is a pander fest. I disagree. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have, to have a white lead because there's plenty of movies that people watch, like the most recent Spider Man. Like it was an animated film. But that's been a problem though. Has there not been an argument against that? That why did they have to make Spider Man black? No, I haven't heard that. I've heard the I've, argument. I've heard, I, I've heard the argument previous to Tom Holland being cast as Spider Man when they were talking about pos- like Donald Glover said he wanted to be Spider Man, and people were like, "Why would you make Peter uh, Parker black?" In that case, by the way, I wouldn't have an issue with that. If you made Peter Parker black, I would be cool with that um, because it doesn't affect the character. We've had this conversation before where I would ha- I wouldn't have it. Literally, this one where it's like I. Spider-Man race has nothing to do with his story. But you know what? Actually, I would have an issue with if all of a sudden you're like, okay, we're going to make Spider-Man black. His family's black. Now Mary Jane's black. Now Flash is black. Now, you know, every single character yes, in the story has yes, to be black yeah. because we have to. I, I don't even know what the. That would that be a happen, That hasn't sure, happened, but sure. that would be. But, yeah. in, but sure. in this case, okay, is there a way to tell the story without the character ha- main characters having to be white? Is the story about their race and them being different races, yeah. or or is it just that those were the actors chosen for the roles? Maybe. I mean, well, definitely they were the actors chosen for the roles, but were they the best actors chosen for the roles? We have no idea about okay. that. So I mean, it's but, not the, yeah. yeah. I mean, so, I mean but, we, well, but the thing is, you can't say definitively that they were either. What is again? How can we? Why do we have to tell again? I, I'm still I'm still not understanding the. Yeah. Why do we have to tell a story and there has to be white lead? The, you can't but, get but, stuck on this white lead thing. because, because not, I don't understand the issue. There are white issue. characters, but there are white characters. So there are like, white characters, but we're talking about white male characters too specifically. So, but there, so how there, many do so we want? There, there weren't any in like the like the, what we just saw. There were not. Did you see any? I yes, mean, I saw. You the, no, you saw them when I pulled up the cast, and there was white dudes that characters didn't even have fucking names listed by them. Okay, Which, by yeah, the way, okay. we can pull it back because yeah, I, mean, I know back. that was the case. Um. So right. No, that was no, the, yeah, that's just so good. Um, all right, so right here, see those two guys. I don't know how I get the big screen. Okay, so well, no, so this guy does have Kil Naka, whoever the fuck that was, and then uh, this guy doesn't have a character next to him. Google hasn't caught up yet. But well, I mean, again, like, well, because like, he probably I, wasn't in the fucking trailer, okay, and he's so, probably so how, also not of significance. So, so how many how many white characters would you want, and white men would you have wanted in the movie to, to be satisfied? I mean, I don't think there's like. Would one of the Asians have to go? Yeah, probably. Probably one of the Asians have to go. But my thing, like, is, I, I don't understand. Well, I mean, maybe I didn't think. My thing is, is this has been kind of a consistent thing from this studio and other studios. But I mean, if we're gonna point a studio out, this is Disney. So I mean, this has been, and we discuss. I don't think on camera. Let me guess: but, is, is is are people? I can't yeah. wait to see how many people boycott the Nigeria Disney movie coming out. 
I think that already came out, brother. I think oh, did you it? accidentally yeah, boycotted it. I'm pretty I, sure. I don't think I'm, I think I saw it. I did it hit movie theaters. I thought it was on plus. Oh, plus oh, maybe, oh, maybe, maybe just on plus. I maybe, maybe not either way. I, I don't know how many people, but, but that's not like, but like, that's not the issue. The first the first point being is like I said, this studio has a bad track track record for that if you consider it if you bad, consider it bad. It bad yeah, yeah that's what I'm if you love it then that's fine you can love it but it's like for me i do think that that is an issue if you're going to sit Bro, here you know, because but, you're because the thing is is it's not even really something that you could you can even complain about without having the virtue signal like thrown back at you that's like well why isn't it great fuck, white people have been in stuff before well what about white fucking guys who want to be actors now why should they pay some cost because fucking mark hamill was luke skywalker but again what 50 years but ago. again we are just like, jumping to the conclusion that that was the that that was the scheme and plan yeah and it's like why well, where I mean, where in today's society can we not believe in, in a story being told where yeah. there are two white guys few Asians and then a bunch of women and that's where the storyline well, is going. Like I said, when you say two white guys, we have no idea who these characters even are in the story. I didn't see any white dudes in the trailer personally. Uh, uh, yeah, and here we have, really dark and trailer. here we have, it, it was a dark trailer and it, it which you, you would think that they would like stand out the most. <laughs> um, so then you have <laughs> two, three, four, <laughs> four women, five. So you have five women of different ethnicities mentioned in okay. the casting before Either of these white one, two, three, go, go through okay. three men, four, five. So five men, five women. Yeah, I mean that is an even split. So they, it's fucking. Well, even. no, but you're saying, but we're saying, like I said, these guys are listed on the back end, and not even to say these oh, are the best actors. Oh, well, I mean, now white people gotta be mentioned first. Well, no, well, no, it's not that it has to be mentioned first. It just is indicative of the casting. You know what I mean? Like this lady's probably mentioned first because she's the main fucking character. Yeah, sure. So there on and so forth. Sure. So just to say, I'm not sure. saying like, oh, they just have to be mentioned. Uh, well, you know, I don't care. Uh, uh, I'm saying, saying, I don't care. Uh, I, I don't care. <laughs> like, 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 I really don't care if like, like, what the ethnicity groups are. Like at this point, it's it's I I enjoy the diversity that is vindicative to okay, appreciate the, your Instagram to to the society. That is that is how we live in society. We are a mixed society so what does it matter yeah. at this point you're telling stories so uh -huh. again i'm not going to sit there and, and think that everything is a scheme just for it yes they have in their hiring thing yeah. in the pro protocol that now they want 50 percent like we went over 50 yeah they're 50. open about the fact yeah. that, this, that they want which, to have some which i said in the group chat i love it i yeah, think but, it's great like why okay, not why shouldn't it be that could be great and then that good idea could run rampant to a place to where it actually becomes harmful to whoever so, well, here, I just want to read some of these comments. You think about that. I want to add love to yeah. hear a good response. It's not black and white. It's just a story. Um, it is the dumb, overpowered girl boss thing uh, that is so dumb. So, uh, yeah, she, like, yeah. the, the woman empowerment. I get it, Jaded. You yeah. don't like women. No, that, that really pisses <laughs> you off. Uh, women, too, have to be physically more badass than men to be powerful. That is dumb. Um, that stupid Ghostbusters ruined it for everyone. Dude, that that <laughs> really was yeah, did. it was a fuck. They really did fuck it up because that was just such a dude. Fast track, pander. Ju yeah, just a pander to the times. Yeah, yeah hundred percent agree. This debate should be a full show because these companies have ruined women roles. Um, yeah, I mean, like, so I mean, to so I agree. And I think this is kind of like what I was trying to say. As far as like, I have no issue with these roles. Like, this is, and we talked about this previously with the um, uh, Last of Us when we talked about that being switched up for like a, uh, yeah. a gay story. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like I don't have any issue with this in that in Last of Us, for example, you had a, a gay love story that was completely canon that happened in the story. A character that was gay. I have no problem if that's that character is then in the story, is then represented in the story as such, and so on and so forth. That just that makes sense, and I wouldn't want to silence those stories. But when you're then taking these characters and then you are using them, in my opinion. To like, like over, like, and, and don't be wrong. I guess, like to your point, maybe just all these people were just the absolute best actors possible. That's possible, or um, or, or who they envision. Now, again, if yeah. if if in this story, if in the show, they're not talking about like, you know, hey, it's good to see us here, you know, because it's good that we're in outer space because because we've never had <laughs> because we, because we've never had the you know the opportunity. <laughs> people like us because it's always been Luke it's and been and, Luke. and Han Solo, yeah, and and you know Anakin. Yeah. It's never been us. Truly, truly. Then, 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 I, then I'd appreciate the like, oh, this is pandering to some kind of inclusive, like, like, mm -hmm. like diversity. But if it's just that, 
it literally has no part of the story and it's yeah. just them then like oh like I, I don't i don't see the point like i just yeah i feel like we've gotten i feel like every type type of movement always has its loud beginning right and it's true like yeah throw it in your face and we did that and i do feel like it's kind of dying out everyone's kind of get like well, kind of people are annoyed with this that's why it has to die out because business is going to come first for corporations that want to stay in business well, again so we, but we've talked about this you just need two three four percent of people like you don't need everybody you yeah so many people so as much as pe people are going to be annoyed with fucking anything and everything mr beast sure. fixes eyesight and people have an issue he did it with zip reviews and it's like okay this is actually so, by the way a hundred years before episode one so the, i said order 66 this is before even anakin was born oh my god um, yeah, so that's interesting. See, yeah, so whatever. They, I they, mean, to that, yeah, they, that they, doesn't they, change anything about no, the fucking. They uh, can keep brother. going down with all their stories all they want. I don't care. I, I probably won't watch it. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I'll um, definitely. I'm I'll, so far behind the Star Wars because Lauren just she will not watch them with me, and it's like she wants to watch the new ones. It's like you can't. Okay, you got to yeah. watch the whole fucking thing. Oh, she hasn't seen the old ones. Man, no, that's oh. wild. Yeah, that's very wild. It's annoying. Um, we may be a diverse society, but if you go to an HVAC company, most of the workers are men. Things just need to make sense. No, um, yeah, they are. Yeah, 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 for sure. I've not worked with a woman in my field at all. HVAC. Oh, nice. That must be awesome. I, I've seen a couple women at supply stores, and you're like, whoa, just kidding. What ladies Where are, are you awesome? From? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that. Uh, I think with this, I don't. It, when it gets to take away from the story, and it feels like you're making some kind of like contemporary statement about society um, within your story, I think that's. Just, I don't have problem people getting jobs and stuff like that. And the representation thing, I think, is nice, but I think that uh, yeah, if it's starting to play into how you're even going to cast people. Aside from just generally, you know, not yeah, wanting to have a cast full of yes. white people, I think that's good. But when it's the opposite, when you start to like be like, "Well, I want to exclude people from having opportunities," that's that can be worrisome. And I think that, uh, uh, like I said, in this case, I didn't see either of these guys in the trailer. I they could be fucking just ra they could be aliens. They might not, or even they could be surprise characters who are now big time players. Who know? I don't yeah, know. that'd be sick. That'd be sick. But again, let's like, look who let's let's look to see who K Kaneka is. This guy is a. Uh, Finnish actor and former basketball player. So how much you want to bet that he is a fucking alien? Oh, this guy is fucking Chewbacca. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> there you go. Cow cover cover their fucking disgusting white skin with yeah. hair. But no, to, to answer the HVAC, like, 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 what if there was a movie about like an all women's like plumbing or yeah. HVAC? Like, like, I've that would have that could happen in real life. I mean, we, again, we're at this point where women like, hey, we can do things too. Like, fuck. Again, you don't have to be a man to do HVAC. You just have to be willing to stand on top of a ladder, go go through trust and and troubleshoot and get your hands dirty. Like, yeah. like you don't have to be a man. So it's like sure. I get, I wouldn't sit there and be like, yeah, but it would be unrealistic if you're saying like, okay, this entire, sure, it can happen. We're not saying ladies can't be uh, plumbers or HVAC, but if you made a movie and you're like, okay, this movie is a serious movie, not about some historic fucking HVAC company no, that was completely but, ran but, by women. But it's but, pushing the idea that women can do that. What would be the problem? Well, the problem why, why would that the problem bo would be, why bother? The problem would be it doesn't make any fucking sense. Why? why? Because because you haven't... Why, why do... Why? Again, what, what would make Refer it not sense? your experience why that doesn't make sense. Be because you've ne you just told me you never worked with a woman in your field ever. Because of one, because of we live in a very conservative place, okay. so obviously okay. it's you got to go be a nurse. They're not afforded the right. Okay, no, it's, it, it, it's not that. It, it's just that obviously it's like it's not <laughs> caught up. But yeah. we're also in a time where women are now doing more and more jumping into men's fields. So at the end of the day, I don't see where it would be possible for somewhere around in this fucking country yeah. there to be a group of four women who have been doing HVAC because I have seen HVAC women do the job in supply stores okay. to then say, hey, we can form our own company. And then, yes, then make yes. a movie just to Love say, it. hey, listen, you can do it. Okay, it's so not now, impossible. So now refer to the it's in, not, my, my initial argument was unless this movie is about an amazing tale about a fucking women's only HVAC company that exists somewhere that it wouldn't make any sense because it's counter no because it's counter to what is so it's like uh, now, so everything true. has to true. be a factual story Th things can't be just a fucking story if you are making a story about an HVAC team uh -huh. yeah it is kind of important that it's if, if it's a serious movie then it's somewhat it somewhat depicts reality like that is that what is that what movies are typically trying to do 
Yeah, some. They're trying to even if they're making a, a fantastic thing, they why want to Charlie, believe it. Why they was say, Charlie Angels a fucking thing? Women can't fight. Nobody's saying women well, can't no, fight. No, no, no. How, how many women have you seen beat a man's ass? Women could be fine. How, 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 how many times have you seen it? I mean, how, how many times have you seen That's it in not, your personal life? How many times? Or is it something that was just pandering? At the end of the day, not it's the not same. impossible. Not I'm saying it's same. not impossible. Not the same. I'm trying to think of a fucking movie <laughs> that's in a man's field that they had a group of women do. <laughs> League of Their Own. Okay. Like, like, sure. like again, it was a great yeah. movie that, again, pushed, yes, the narrative that women can play baseball, too, and softball, too. Sure. What the fuck? Women can do. How did League of Your Own end? Girl. I don't recall. Oh, man. I haven't watched the movie in a long time. Okay. I don't recall. I don't. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't really remember. Yeah. But I know Tom Hanks was alcoholic during it. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Rose nice. perfect I, in it. Yeah. But again, it's not impossible for it to be a, a. Again, if you want to say that the whole town is a bunch of fucking blue collar women, then fine. Like, whatever. They call bullshit. But at the end yeah. of the day, what makes it so believable? Again, we have men. Do everything that women no, can do. Women can do what men can do. It's what would make it unbelievable. What you're saying, but why not would what, it be unbelievable? It's not what would but make tell it, me why it would be unbelievable. Well, let, me, let me respond then. So it's not what will make it unbelievable. It's about what makes it just not generally believable. So sure, that could happen. All that is possible in the world. But in 99% of our experiences out there, people that have experienced dealing with a real life fucking HVAC person, it's been a guy that you've dealt with. So, of course, and, and, and the reason is, by the way, isn't just out of fucking happenstance. It's because they're mostly fucking guys. Yes. Okay, so, well, that's so it. what that's if, it. so, okay. okay. So, again, so you can't, so you can't have a movie where, again, you have four women who all work for, for of different course companies. You of course you can. Because boom, you know, boom, you, boom. And, and then they get well, together okay. and they decide, why don't we just work together and have a women's... Oh, okay, boom. Then they get together and there then you they go. do it. Okay, that, what does it matter? No, you, so so what does that matter, though? Because, no, you actually just now touched on it. I already said this. Then, yeah, you're right. The entire movie would have to be of this unlikely story of these women that created a fucking... HVAC company because it never happened. So in order for us to buy into it, you would have to play into the rarity of it. It would have to be like, don't we all just want to create a fucking company? The four and we, and by the way, it would still do terrible. And not that the HVAC company movie would probably do great anyway. So to be fair, no, it's, it's really a boring storyline. Our <laughs> lives are not sick. fun. That okay, just see somebody <laughs> hate their life. For two hours. <laughs> their life is not a fun one. I don't advise. I could it. just die in this attic. Nobody but, would care. But again, it's just, it's just again like like uh, oh, for many things. Like Mike. He got fucking yeah, yeah. shoes and plays like Michael Jordan. Sure. How fucking believable. Again, well, no, that's okay. not a serious movie. Yeah. But again, it's not meant to be taken serious at all. Due date. Anyway. My God, they fucking met. Then they go ahead and they go across. But the, so, but, but the thing is, your example of like Mike. The town. Even, no, but hold on. It's not even that it's not serious because it's not even actually supposed to be like based in like reality. Like <laughs> the shoes and they kept jumping <laughs> like that and going to the fucking NBA. That's not supposed yeah, to no, be I'm in any way based on the... reality. But I'm saying even if you're making a funny movie. The if town. It's the, if it's supposed even if you're making a funny movie, scary movie, if it's supposed to be based in reality, well, then you're kind of are beholden to those kind of whatever trends or tradition. Like, what is reality? You're beholden to reality at that point. And like Mike, you're right. We could have a kid in the NBA because their whole thing with going into that movie was like, we're just going to make a fucking fun, Stupid crazy movie. kid yeah. movie. Yeah. That's fine. But That's fine. And that could exist. And like I said, your other concept could exist. But the point of the fucking movie would have to be that these ladies create a fucking HVAC company because it's so bizarre and so unlikely. And it, do you it, maybe motivating. I want to get to these comments, but uh, do you have anything that uh, you want to? I'm saying I'm saying it would probably be like, 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 like motivating. Yeah. But sure. yeah. But like, like, like the town's one where it's like. Oh, the bank robber who falls in love with the person that he robbed from. How fucking believable. And then he gets away from the FBI. Spoiler alert. He gets yeah. away. And it's like, yeah, no, there's always movies of with it's dramatics. It's that Hollywood. It's yeah. Not true well, story. Well, hold on. What's your okay? I'm trying to because the town is a great movie. So it's you a made, fantastic. I just started thinking about that movie. So it, that it, was an awesome it, movie. But it's a fantastic that? movie that's a realistic movie, right? It's real, it, it, it takes place in a realistic sense. Yeah. But the ending and the way the movie plays out is very unrealistic. Okay. okay. So again, we always do this. It's called Hollywood for a reason, but it's just the fact that okay. why couldn't there be in a woman of power or motivating movie where women do a job where it shows that, Hey, you can grow up and do this too. It's not just for men. You can do this. Again, we're hypothetically speaking and, yeah. it, and it be an issue to where men have to go. Oh, 
Why is there a movie showing this? And, uh, we're pushing and, an agenda. And so it's this like, unlike, why? So this unlikely outcome at the end of the town, for example, that you're kind of like conflating with a decision in casting in a story that where we're trying to like represent reality in some way. That's why I'm not I'm not necessarily following that because there are individual things that may like maybe a bank robber does get away and him falling in love with the bank teller and shit like that. Great movie. Uh, <laughs> Man, and, I movie. Think, and I think, by the way, I don't think like if you would have changed one of his friends to be like an Indian friend, I don't think that would have destroyed the movie or like taken me out of the movie. But honestly, if you would have changed all three of his friends and been like, hey, all three of his friends are fucking um Chinese. Again, they want to make sense with Boston. Yeah, they want to make sense where he was. And once again, his backstory. Yeah, yeah, and it would have been. It would have just taken me out of. Of course, there could be one white guy who's friends with three Chinese guys. But of course, the detective was black. Would have made a difference. No, or or, or would that have been them trying to pander? No, but that's the thing. That's why having some restraint is important. Why what Disney did was showing no restraint, no subtlety. It was just like, like I said, we don't even know who the fucking white guys are in the movie. One we know is like Chewbacca or some shit. So it's like. Um, there's no restraint there. There's no subtlety. And it takes you out of the storytelling. Now, me, somebody who wants to see rep- representation, typically, now I'm thinking about what the like right wing talking point might be, where I'm like, well, yeah, in this case, there is literally... Well, you know what? Movies like Rambo, Die Hard, they need to be barred because they, they right. really push a, man, a narrative that male, men are badass combat artists who are <laughs> going to kill everybody on the run. Some are. You, you, can, you can survive gunshots yeah, and do somewhere. XYZ. Yeah, some and do. Again, it's, some do that. We all again. The yeah. point is that we always do this. Like, like, and again, there's so many men okay. films where it's like it's it's men centric, and I get it. And I'm not trying to sit there and say that like everything is just has to be women empowerment. But it's like I feel like we with diversity and the gender, we now are at this point where we look for the reason to hate on it yeah. rather than just allowing it to be a story. This doesn't have to be my. By the way, I'm not asking for this to be man centric. I'm saying like. We're coming off of Star. The last Star Wars trilogy, by the way, was based around Ray's story. That was great. That that was one fucking straw in the hat. Your last Star Wars trilogy was all about this, and I think this is what Jaded was talking about. This Mary Sue character, who there's no build up. It's just she's stronger than everybody for no reason. Yeah, that's dumb. Okay, it was yeah, dumb okay, as fuck. Okay. So that's one strike. This is the same people. That's my thing. Yeah. This is the same people that have taken the same. Okay intellectual property and have just fucked it off consistently yeah so you have that strike on you and like i said ahsoka i'm trying to think mandalorian i mean i'm trying to really think there uh, might be just be star wars i don't know but, but i don't know who's writing maybe. it but like because like i mean shit loki wasn't like that loki was mandalorian i love by the way mandalorian has a guy who is hispanic as the lead that's fine i don't give a fuck about that it's cool um but just have other representation you don't have to have a white person in the lead or even name first or anything like that it's just like I said, it the reality is is there are still white yeah. men who want to be actors that this does take away from, yeah. and they're unfair. I don't want Sorry, to, Chris Pratt. It's I, I don't well, but there's unknown <laughs> broke motherfuckers that are trying to be Chris Pratt. I was being an asshole. I'm <laughs> but, being an asshole. No, but, um, but yeah, I, 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 mean, I, I see them as, and I mean, this is like something you wanted. I don't, I don't want to be hyperbolic and call people victims, but they are in a way where it's like they say they have to deal with consequences. So they have to deal with consequences from Hollywood before them where there's this like kind of like weird rewriting that it could just be rewriting where once again ahsoka ahsoka can be a black woman or hispanic i'm not sure what uh who played her i think it's a, let me see yeah, i feel like there's enough roles out there but yeah. uh, like, yeah. I, 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 what i'll say is i was speaking general you're speaking specific to them and i see what you're saying yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're saying. no and i and i think uh, you know we have more similarities there than differences so uh we're on the same page and i think that we might be we might be shut down on Instagram. That's why that's telling me a hero anyway. So that's good to know. Oh, There's a time limit on Instagram. Me. So we'll get to these comments that we can go ahead and rock out. Uh, so Dune has tons of powerful female characters. It's just the characters make sense. Uh, Paul and HVAC company could have all women, but like 99% of the time, it's mostly men. Yeah, 100%. Uh, the audience needs to buy the characters, get immersed into the fictional story 100 with story writing so so so, so that's the thing is yeah. their story writing could be better than 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 what it is yeah. and and that's where it's like i i can understand you focusing on that i'm just focusing on like this just where it's just like everything now is just all yeah. there and it's i don't think it is i don't think it's as fucking sought out 
as well, it's think, kind of portrayed. I think sometimes there is a response to that. I just think that not every response needs to get lumped into the same category where it's like alarmist and you don't want any white people. I mean, you don't want any people of color to be shown on. Like, that's not, I think, what it has to be. There's, yeah. a, there's a middle ground where it's like this maybe is overboard and like i said not subtle in any way like you're just you're actually causing more friction than you are like some kind of like i don't know like bringing people together when you're doing that you know what i mean right, like, right, right. because you're you're right it ends up becoming a talking point where it's like a you've now politicized fucking star wars uh Jeez, thanks disney <laughs> and shut and them us, down and us now shut we, them already, down. we already suspended reality but the actor's job is to convince you to believe they're actually the character you are watching if it makes no sense, you will not buy it. So, I mean, that's, that's a good way to put that, by the way, what we were kind of well, talking about earlier. We all love Home Alone, and that made no fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. We will never really buy a, uh, buy a 90 girl beating a one. Okay, so a 90 pound girl beating a 180 pound man. It's just illogical. Uh, the town is so good. So uh, the good. characters are cast appropriately. Very much. Um, it's like casting a white man as an African tribesman. Ridiculous. Um, and then let's see here. Same as these Korean shows are great. But let's face it. Uh, it would be weird to see all white men in these roles. Um, I'm not sure what Korean uh, shows you're talking about. But yeah, I mean, I agree. There's definitely other instances um, where it would be weird to see it on its head and where we have seen it on its head like we saw john wayne play genghis khan so that's where i definitely recognize how disgusting so i'm glad we're not there anymore yeah I'm, I'm, okay. i definitely recognize how <laughs> wild hollywood has been for sure so there's 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 an issue there but um uh, i just don't think going in the exact opposite way is the right answer what's that's his name to play I, I can't fuck i'm so mad at myself for just basing on his name um <sighs> Yeah, I'm not gonna remember it. Um, Green oh, Goblin. No. What's his name? Oh, William Defoe. William Defoe. Okay, I want to say William H Macy, but that is yeah. the other dude. Yeah, um, uh, Jurassic sh Park. Yeah, shameless. Yeah, yeah. shameless too. Um, uh, but William Defoe playing Jesus Christ. He's played Jesus, and it's like, yeah, that's. I don't know. If that's yeah. really how Jesus was. I do feel you on that, but, but at least in that instance, I'll say there's at least some like there's some disagreements as far as like what that person looked like <laughs> I um, guess. so i guess yeah there's some depictions that we have some created. of these some of these other <laughs> some of these other instances yeah, yeah, yeah. uh yeah. you know i mean the character is what they are and i think even and we talked about like i said just briefly with spider-man i think there's instances where it even is appropriate you don't have to have miles morales which that's the character from the spider-man animated thing um and he's half black and half puerto rican i think mm -hmm. and um I don't hear much issue with that. And I think that's good. That's evidence that that character has been written well in the comic books. Right. People care about that character on his own, separate from Peter Parker. Right. So, and obviously how successful the films yeah. have been. So it's like, that's just what I wish for. It is a disservice in the way that there just isn't as many characters that are based in like their original source material isn't based off of like uh black people or like people of color in any way um so that's a disservice based off our history for sure so i mean i acknowledge that that's there and that's why there's not a wealth of those characters so then people have this i think uh urge to then change characters but um and like i said as long as it doesn't affect the character i honestly don't have an issue with it but then again you still have to be mindful of the other characters once then if you're gonna like I'd use the example of like they did change Mary Jane's race in Spider-Man. I didn't, I honestly didn't give a fuck about that. It was whatever. It wasn't distracting because they changed it to Zendaya. So uh, yeah. So it's like that. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck about that personally. Yeah. Uh, that one, I, it's not I'm distracting. Not but then, that one kind of did about, I was like, mm. but, but, then but if you, if, I let it go. But then if you would have changed her and you would have changed Spider-Man and then it would have just felt like you were yeah. doing the opposite of whitewashing. It's like, yeah. okay, now all these characters are black for why? Why? Literally. Well, it's I understand that. Yeah. Either way, well, just, we've been cooking. Uh, this motherfucker is already going to be long as shit to yeah. edit. Oh, sorry. Um, no, but I love it. Good content. We were vibing.